How about making a roasted carrot dish with carrot top pesto? Sounds like the beginning of fall. Here's the deal with carrots. A lot of the flavor of the carrot is in the skin, which people, actually Gordon Ramsay taught me that, not personally. When you peel them, you're taking some of the carrotiness away, but boy, are they dirty. It's a root, it sticks in the ground, right? So you need to clean these. And we're also gonna make a carrot top pesto. Hello. These are really dirty because most people don't use them. So we'll clean these in a minute, but we'll start with cleaning carrots. I'm gonna cut it. Go to the hospital later. I'm retaining these to make the pesto. And you're going to rinse it like this in the water. You're gonna cut off the nose. And you're gonna look at the top here. Now, do you see this black ring? Beep, beep, beep. It's a car backing up outside. This is not dirt, it's actually rotting um, vegetable matter. So what you do is you take a knife like this and you scrape the top of the carrot. And if you don't like some of the marks, you can give it a quick going over like this. That is essentially a carrot ready for roasting. It's rustic and it's delicious. Give it in a little rinse and throw it in your, in your pan. You actually don't have to do this. To mention Gordon again, um, when he does his roast vegetables, he literally just washes them. He leaves the whole, like the whole freaking top on. Scrape off the black ring, rinse it, and drop it in your pan, okay? And you're gonna do that for all of your carrots. Let's talk about the greens. These really have to be cleaned. Pick out any yellow or black ones, right? And then you're gonna spray the Jesus out of it. And then you're gonna shake it like a broom, sort of, right? You don't really want the sticks, okay? So you're gonna cut the sticks off. So you have basically that. You can use all kinds of carrots. I love the rainbow carrots. I grow them, they're so delicious. We're, we're gonna make carrot top pesto. Why are we using carrot tops? Well, if we wanna talk about sauce a little bit. Sauce is kind of the essence of the thing. So whatever you're enhancing the thing with, it should be, if possible, have part of the thing in it. So an example would be carrot top pesto. So you're gonna take your very clean carrot tops, you're gonna try to use the small food processor we talked about in kitchen appliances, and it's not gonna work. So just get out the big one, okay? Because it's pesto and it's very green, you wanna keep in mind that you need a citrus to keep the color. And you wanna keep this in the fridge after you make it, otherwise it will lose its color. Okay, so I'm putting a little bit of lemon and I'm just basically putting in enough liquid to process it so that it will make a pesto. All right, it's a little bit of olive oil. Now I'm gonna check it out and see if it, if it needs more liquid. It needs more liquid, it also needs salt, which I forgot. So salt, maybe a little more liquid, a little more lemon. Here we go. Making pesto, putting in a little more liquid. So trust yourself, like we always say. It's a sort of a piquant so, um, pesto. It's not basil, it has a different flavor, you'll taste it. It's almost lemony without the lemons, and it has an inherent carrotiness to it. Mm. Try making this. I mean, it looks like pesto, tastes like carrots. Maybe you'll hate it. I don't know, but it's, I think it's delicious. And uh, it does make it's, it's kind of chefy, and it makes ca a carrot dish extra carroty. So that's like very green and lovely carrot essence, essentially. So you press it down so it's touching the pesto, okay? Minimizing air contact. Anyway, there you go. Put this in the fridge until you're ready. These guys are fairly uniform, and this one's a little thick, so you have an option. If, if they're really disparate sizes, okay? which they, they could be. You have an option to cut them. This is the wrong knife. We have a tradition of doing that. But when you cut it, you wanna cut it so that you leave the top intact. It's not easy. So 
and then you kind of guide the knife with a lot of force so you get two pieces like that, okay? It's not necessary unless you have really thick ones, and the reason we do that is so they all cook at the same time, right? The two things that send people to the emergency room the most uh, kitchen-wise are avocados and bagels. Isn't that funny? So here you go. These are all kind of the same size and ready to go. So carrots, take, they take about maybe 40 minutes. You know, you can test them with a toothpick because they're kind of, you know, they're thick. But I would say 40 minutes, okay? And the way to prep them, this is before the pesto. You're going to just put a little olive oil on them, make sure they're all coated, kind of like they're all shiny like that. You can put a little lemon, but remember there's a lot, kind of a lot of lemon in the pesto. And remember we also put a lot of salt in the pesto, so you want to remember that. So I'm putting some uh, thick pieces of, you know, like harsh ground pepper, sh little cut up shallots on there. Okay. So it's like, looks like that. I'm going to put this in the oven for about 30 minutes, and then for the last 10 minutes, I'm gonna put the pesto on. Do you know why? I'll tell you why. Because if you cook the pesto for too long, it just turns dark, 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 dark green, which you don't want. You want it to look bright. Uh, you're basically just warming the pesto, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven. Goodbye, little cats. Have a good time. About 10 minutes before your carrots are done, you're gonna take the pesto that you made and sprinkle it on. And it should look a lovely bright green like that. Beautiful. I'm gonna shake this and close it up for another like 10 minutes. You're ready to serve. You're gonna take it out. This is a very popular dish here. And, uh, you know, you're just gonna bring it to the table and serve it. Carrots, carrots, carrots! Sauce is kind of the essence of the thing. So whatever you're enhancing the thing with, it should be, if possible, have part of the thing in it.